Okay, Cookie, you, we think we have the scorpion problem. I am Cookie Masterson, and I'm a people person. It's true, I'm actually made of millions of tiny little people. <laughs> Quiet down in there! Listen, don't worry. I find that most people enjoy playing alone. And our wrong answer of the game is brought to you by... Hoarder Helpers. Are you a hoarder? We're here to help you hoard more stuff. Absolutely no psychiatrists on staff. Find the wrong answer associated with our sponsor to get yourself some sweet prizes and bonus cash. Okay, let's see what happens. First on the docket, London Bridges Falling Down. In the nursery rhyme, Wee Willy Winky, what's covering up Wee Willy Winky's Wee Willy? The nightgown he's wearing, the wolf suit he's wearing, the wooden shoe he's sailing in, or nothing, he's completely nude. Time's almost up. Apparently you've never heard of giving it that old college try. This would have been a nice choice. The first line of the nursery rhyme goes, Wee Willy Winky runs through the town, upstairs and downstairs, in his nightgown. He's wearing a nightgown. Presumably that's what's covering up his Wee Willy. Look, some nursery rhyme guys are showers, and some nursery rhyme guys are growers. And on its way, zombies never get old. What might you see in a television show called The Balking Dead? An army of zombies walking backwards, a horde of zombies walking in circles, a swarm of zombies walking on tiptoe. This would have worked. If the dead are balking, that means they've stopped short or are refusing to move forward for some reason. Kind of like the plot of Walking Dead Season 2. Wow, this is a real horde of circular logic. Which is great because that means you just won this expandable hoarder house from Hoarder Helpers. Because one man's trash is another man's trash that he can store in his expandable hoarder house. You'll be happy to know this wrong answer of the game comes with $4,000. Congrats. Take a good look at... I'll preheat my oven to 450 degrees when I'm dead. And we're cooking up a dis or dat. I'm going to read off seven items, and for each one I want you to tell me if it's... A type of burial plot available in a cemetery, or if it's... A type of tombstone frozen pizza. If it's a type of burial plot, press the Y button. If it's a type of tombstone pizza, press the A button. Okay, we're off. Single. Companion. Family. Double top. Half and half. Original. Brick oven stud. Not bad, but not nearly as good as delivery. When I die, I want to be cremated, but not just in any oven, in a pizzazz pizza oven. That way every part of me is cooked evenly. May I introduce... Zack and Miri make a board game. What do Seth Rogen and the game Trivial Pursuit have in common? They were both created in the 70s, they were both created by a Jewish woman, they were both created in Canada, or they were both created by accident. <laughs> Seth Rogen was born in Vancouver, Canada, and Trivial Pursuit was created in Montreal, Canada. And another thing Seth Rogen and Trivial Pursuit have in common... Ah, uh, no, that's about it. And now, Kangaroo, Peanut, Albert Einstein, or Uranus? 
Steven Spielberg modeled one-third of E.T. after this subject. Kangaroo, Peanut, Albert Einstein, or Uranus? <laughs> that answer has a hole in it. Here's where the money is. E.T. was an amalgamation of Ernest Hemingway, Carl Sandburg, and Albert Einstein. <laughs> Yeah, he definitely has Einstein's neck. <laughs> That's all we got for round one. And you're in pretty good shape, for now. Remember, in round two, every question is worth double. Now get out there and make me proud. Open wide for... I've been framed! So, I've been looking at this print of the Mona Lisa a lot lately, and people always talk about her little half-smile, but I've become obsessed with something else. What the hell is the Mona Lisa looking at? Something to her right? Something to her left? Something str- The Mona Lisa is looking over to her left. Which is weird because there's nothing over there but my far side calendar. Nobody's found that interesting in years. Question 7! This one's known as... What's black and black and black all over? If during a battle of wits with the Riddler, Batman were unable to solve the riddle of the Sphinx, what might the Riddler say to mock him? Looks like you're not as smart as Oedipus, Bat Breath. You're certainly no Anubis, Bat Brain. You're dumber than Socrates, Bat Bungler. Or even King Arthur figured that one out, Bat Boob. <laughs> Not much time left. Just take a guess next time. What's the worst that can happen? In the Greek play Oedipus the King, Oedipus is the only one capable of answering a devious riddle posed by a murderous sphinx. You know the Riddler has lost his touch when he starts asking riddles anyone could just look up on Wikipedia. Follow me down to the sea. Try this on for size. Get your mind out of the gutter ball. It's the put the choices into order and buzz in and see if you are right. Question. And if you knock down a right answer here, I'll roll some extra cash your way. Put these bowling pin arrangements in order of most to fewest pins left standing. 710 split, dinner bucket, Christmas tree. Dinner bucket, Christmas tree, 710 split, Christmas tree, 710 split, dinner bucket, Christmas tree, dinner bucket, 710 split, or dinner bucket, 710 split, Christmas tree. <laughs> Ball. Here's what you meant to pick. A dinner bucket is when there are four pins left standing, the two, four, five, and eight pins. A Christmas tree is three pins left standing, either the two, seven, and ten, or the three, seven, and ten. And in a seven, ten split, there are, of course, two pins left standing, the seven and ten pins. All those numbers hurt my brain. That's why I usually let the bowling computer do it for me. I also let the bowling computer do my taxes. This one's called All Men Must Die Somewhere around episode 9 If the leading cause of death in the Game of Thrones universe were the same as the leading cause of death in the modern world what spoilerish comment would you most likely read on the internet? Hey, did you know Arya dies of malaria? Jon Snow gets killed in a car crash. For reals. Yeah, Daenerys basically just has a stroke and dies. Or, guess what? Tyrion ends up dying of heart disease. Watch the time! If you didn't want to play, why the hell did we even get started? How about this for a right answer? Killing 7 million people a year, heart disease is the leading cause of death worldwide. Of course, as we know, the actual leading cause of death in Game of Thrones is struggling to be a 20-something in New York. No, wait, that's, that's girls. I always get HBO shows mixed up.
Why not try melts in your pretty mouth? Based on the gender roles assigned by the Mars Company, which M&M's character could give birth to an M&M's mini? Red, yellow, blue, or green? For whatever reason, red, yellow, orange, and blue M&M's are male, and brown and green are female. It's the female ones that have nuts that confuse me. You do not want to be in the hospital room when an M&M gives birth. Sure, they melt in your mouth, not in your hands, but I'm telling you, those mini M&Ms are pretty melty when they come out of the birth canal. Brace yourself for the attack. When you see two clues that match, press your A button. 2,000 if you're right. But you lose 2,000 if you're wrong. And of course, remember the clue. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. Getting the beast of me. What animal are you surrounded by? Good luck. There you have it! I think people who surround themselves with animals are really just lonely. Sure, I myself own two cats, but whenever I see a guy with three cats, I think, Oh man, that guy must not have a friend in the world. What a total loser. You don't know Jack! Kyle Pepper. And ever since I was a little boy, I wanted to be a professional baseball player. Well, now I'm 36 and going nowhere fast. So that's why I'm starting Kyle Pepper's Professional Baseball League. We only have three rules. One, everyone's welcome regardless of gender or race. Two, every team starts with five runs so they don't feel bad. And three, every Tuesday night we trade spouses and experiment sexually. Okay, okay, you probably just said, I can't believe what I just heard. You start with five runs? Tryouts are this Thursday at 6 in my backyard, with a small tickle party starting at 9. Kyle Pepper's Professional Baseball League. I can't wait to meet you! Piddle Paddle! That's right! Hey guys, what you playing? Piddle Paddle! 
Piddle Paddle? Can I play? Sure, just roll the dice. And... Piddle Paddle? That's right, Piddle Paddle. Just roll the dice again and... Piddle Paddle? That's right. So I just move my piece around the board after I roll the dice and... Piddle Paddle! Wow, you landed in the Rainbow Castle. You're a natural. Yes, Piddle Paddle. It's the hot new game that everyone's dying to play. Woohoo! So now I'm in the murky swamp and... Piddle Paddle! What? No, what are you doing? I rolled a four! Piddle Paddle! Are you trying to be funny? Typical Carol. Let's go. You're uninvited to the wedding. Piddle Paddle? 